Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool little puff stitch flowers. They're super easy, lots of fun to make. You can make them all one color and, and the center one color or you can change it up and put like a yellow in the middle or any color that you want. I'm actually going to be using a bunch of different flowers to make a fiber art kind of paint canvas because I paint as well. So I'm making all kinds of different colored ones. But as you can see, you can do it any way that you want. I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? Now, all you're gonna need for this is a um, whatever size hook that you wanna use. Remember, the hook depends on how big you want your flower. So if you use a big hook and a big yarn, you're gonna get a big flower. If you use a small hook and a small yarn, you're gonna get a small flower. So it's all in what you want. But for this video today, I'm going to be using a lightweight three yarn and I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook, okay? So that's what I'll be using today. And I'm just going to use some yellow yarn and I'm just going to make um, an all yellow flower, okay? So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to make a slip knot. I mean, you're going to join these together to make a circle. And then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to double crochet back into your circle. Just like that. And that counts as a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Then you're going to chain two, and you're going to double crochet into your circle again. Then you're going to chain two and double crochet into the circle again. So now we have three of these, one, two, three. And do that again. Now we have four, and again, and now we have five, okay? Then you're going to chain two, and you're going to join with a slip uh, stitch right here in between. So we're not going into the top of our chain, we're going into the middle of it and just making a slip stitch. This is gonna curve in on you like this, that's okay, that's exactly what you want it to do. Okay, so right now we're exactly where we need to be to start working again, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these spaces, okay? So now you're going to chain three, and then you're going to yarn over and go into this chain two space 12 times and pull up. So there's one, and you can see I'm pulling up pretty high. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then you're going to go through all of these. And if you keep them really loose, like I just showed you, it's not gonna be hard to work through. Then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to chain two. Right into the same place that you just worked that puff, you're gonna go right back into there, and you're going to make a slip stitch, allowing this chain two to fall behind the flower, which or the petal, which it will naturally try to do. Now you're going to chain three again, and you're going to repeat. Into this chain two space, you're gonna pull up 12 times. Yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up two, yarn over, pull up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Go through all of your loops, chain one, and then chain two. Go back into the same space, let your work fall behind, sometimes you might need to help it along, and do a slip stitch. 
then chain three and repeat again. Yarn over, go into your chain two space, pull up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then go through all of those, chain one, and then chain two. Then go into your same space that you've been working in, pull your work behind, and do a slip stitch. Now you're going to chain three and do that again. Go into your space, pull up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Go through all, chain one, chain two again, and then slip stitch into the same space you've been working into and allow that to fall to the back. And as you can see, it's coming together beautifully. And we have two more of these to do, and I'm just gonna quietly do these, and you can just watch. Okay, so we finished all the petals, and so now we're gonna tighten up our middle, and we're gonna tie this off here, and we're going to make our center piece. So you're gonna cut off right here, pull your yarn through, tighten. Then we're going to tighten the back, just like that. I'm going to be using this on a canvas, as I said, so I'm just gonna tie these off because I'm going to be uh, gluing and painting so I don't need to work these in but if you're going to be using this as an applique on a blanket or making a blanket out of them you definitely want to work in your ends but I'm going to just tie it twice and I'm going to cut off if you don't know how to work in your ends I have a beginner video below that will show you how to do that as well okay so right there we've got that so now we're going to make the middle piece for this so all you're going to do is you're going to chain two, one and two, and into the first chain that you just made, you're going to work a puff stitch. So just pull out your yarn a little bit and work into here 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, and 12. And then you're going to work through all of these and just chain one like that to hold it together. You can tighten up down here and then you're just going to cut off, leave enough space because you're gonna need these to work in, pull through, okay? Just like that. And then we're going to put this right here. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm going to take one of these ends that I have just like this. And I'm gonna place it on one side of the flower going through these little uh, places right here, our posts from before. And I'm just gonna pull through on one side, okay? And then I'm gonna put this on our darning needle and then I'm gonna go out the other side. So right over here, just gonna make sure that it's through a good bit there and I'm going to pull through and that's going to cause that to sit right into place then I'm going to turn it over and I'm like I said I'm just going to tie off but you might need to work these in depending upon what you're making I'm just going to do three knots and then I'm going to cut off and then you've got a beautiful little puff flower. So like I said, you can change the color for the middle. You could use a variegated yarn. These are absolutely beautiful and versatile. You can do anything with them. If you need any help with anything, please let me know in the comment section below. But if you're not comfortable with that, I also have a Gmail, I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok. So you can go find me on all of those. I would appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe.